Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're continuing our discussion for the BMO1 2023 paper and in the previous two videos we solved problem 1 and problem 2. In this video we'll be solving problem 3 which is a nice uh, geometry problem. Uh, most of the times you have in the BMO1 uh, one uh, geometry question. Uh, usually uh, you don't need uh, like more than angle chasing and some uh, uh, really not, not not that advanced techniques uh, unlike the bmo2 bmo2 you need uh, more advanced stuff uh, anyway let's uh, go uh, and uh, discuss this question and we will see uh, what we really need whether the question is difficult or it is easy so what are you thankful for let's get started All right, so the question is telling us we've got an a triangle ABC uh, and they're telling us that angle C is less than, ang than angle A, less than 90. Uh, and we've got two points XY on AC and uh, the circumcircle of ABC such that they are not A. And uh, we have the condition BX equals PY equals BA. Then we intersect XY with the circumcircle again at Z. And we need to prove that BZ is perpendicular to AC. Of course, we need to draw a good diagram in order to solve any geometry question. So let's uh, begin with that. Uh, here is actually uh, one, uh, one thing that I recommend to my students is always when you start uh, with a geometry question, don't immediately draw a precise diagram. First of all, draw a small diagram on your draft, of course, uh, and ma like make it small. You don't need to spend time drawing a precise one there. Uh, of course, we are not going to solve the question on that diagram. However, this diagram is just for you to know what exactly, where are the points, what you should do. Because uh, if you immediately started with uh, a big diagram, a large diagram, and an accurate one, then you will, need, you will waste uh, some time uh, because you're like drawing the precise diagram. But guess what? Maybe, uh, if you like, you, uh, let's say the question was longer than that. And you're doing uh, lots of points and stuff but then suddenly they're telling you uh, you need to intersect uh, something x y and let's say uh, z t so you did that and they end up outside the page or maybe sometimes you might get something like this the lines are like this so now they're <laughs> outside the page and uh, hence of course you cannot uh, do this diagram and you need to draw a diagram again from scratch. However, if you did this on a smaller diagram and you notice that, wait a minute, uh, you got something like this, then for sure you're going to fix it quickly uh, on your smaller diagram and you did not waste uh, any time because this is not that accurate thing. So I always start by uh, drawing a small diagram. Uh, okay, uh, so right now here, uh, we simply are going to first of all draw uh, a circumcircle. Of course, always you should draw a precise diagram. Unfortunately for me, I cannot uh, use here uh, a ruler. So I'm going to try my best to draw a good diagram. So first of all, I'm going to have a circumcircle. Uh, it's always a good idea to start with drawing the circle uh, first uh, when you start the question. Uh, okay, so after doing that, I'm going to have a triangle ABC. So they are telling me that uh, angle A is greater than angle C and less than 90. All right, so let's draw an acute, acute triangle. Okay, let me make this bigger here. Luckily, everything is inside the circle, so I can make the circle very big. And I'm going to pick uh, A here. Okay, let me see whether if I use sigma this is better here. Oops. Okay. All 
All right, this is kind of nice. Um, okay, next we need uh, first of all, of course, this is a. Okay, perhaps I should drag this a little down here. All right, now we know that this is a. This is B, and uh, this is C. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one point here and a point on the circle such that BA, BA is equal to uh, BX, something like this, is equal to, to this. So in fact, if you were, you were in the contest, then what you will do is you're going to bring your compass and draw a circle like this. If you draw a circle like this, then you know what exactly uh, like the points are. So th the first point is here, and the other point is here. Uh, unfortunately for me, I don't have a compass here, so I'm going to try to uh, to do my best here. Okay, so let's say the first one is here. Need to build an isosceles triangle. Okay. Something something like this. All right, and then I'm going to also pick one like this. Okay, I think this is kind of not bad. Uh, okay, next I I need to join these together and they will intersect the circle at point Z this is X and this is Y and uh, what we need to show is that BZ is perpendicular uh, so let's put that in green we need to show that this here is 90 okay of course, what we know is that this is equal to this, is equal to this. All right, so now uh, we're ready to start uh, with our solution. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, let's uh, try to analyze stuff. This is a, uh, like, uh, first of all, what is point X, what's point Y, and what's point Z. Uh, if you look at uh, the question, actually, you can see that point Z is really cool. Uh, as it's just the, if we draw an altitude from B, then we extend the, the altitude, then it's going to hit the circle at point C. Actually, if you've studied some geometry, then you immediately know, if you basically followed my uh, tutorial, although I did not uh, complete it, but I think I actually I discussed this in one of the videos, that uh, if you reflect the orthocenter, which is uh, somewhere here, H, over the side, is going to give you a point on the circumcircle. So this point Z is really uh, a cool point, as uh, if you draw like H, the orthocenter, then we know that this is equal to this. All right, that's nice. Uh, okay, so w what's the point here? The point is uh, we can actually go in reverse for the question. We can uh, define it, define point C prime, uh, such, such as it's the like we intersect the altitude with the circumcircle and then we might tr uh, try to show that z x and y are collinear uh, this actually principle is called the phantom point constructing a phantom point if we define this phantom point uh, usually we do this when we know uh, a lot about this point so this point actually we are, we are familiar with point c z prime uh, so this is one idea that we can do okay uh, of course if we want to show z x and y are collinear then uh, there are multiple of uh, techniques here. One of them is to try to show that this angle is equal to this angle. Or, uh, since we know uh, a lot about point Z, uh, one actually idea, which is uh, pr pretty cool here, is to try to show that this angle here, BZX, is equal to BZY. Why this technique is really cool here? Because X and Y are really not that cool. So, 
instead of dealing, uh, I, I like to call them, uh, let's say, bad points. So instead of handling two bad points, when, we, when you want to calculate this angle, uh, you can actually handle uh, one bad point uh, by discussing this angle, BZX. You only have one bad point, and then you need to have uh, BZY, uh, also another, uh, like just one bad point. So you're just uh, evaluating an angle that has only one bad point. This is way better than evaluating uh, one angle with two bad points on it. This is really an important principle. Although here the question is not really that difficult, so maybe actually there is a solution to, to handle even uh, like these two bad points at the same time. Uh, anyway, this is how, uh, like I'm showing you how I thought about the question when I uh, tried with it. So uh, let's try to follow this strategy. So how can we find the angle BZX? And then we will find angle BZY. Well, actually, if you look for angle BZY, it's really easy to, to calculate because uh, we know uh, BZY uh, is just uh, like half of the arc BY, right? So we just care about the arc BY. But guess what? Arc BY is the same as arc AB. So uh, this angle uh, is C here, like the arc for this is C. Uh, then that means this angle is C as well. So guess what? That means now we just need to show that angle BZX uh, is C. And guess what? If you're in the contest now, you can uh, safely delete point Y. You don't care about it anymore. You now we just need to focus about uh, this BZX. You just now need to focus about uh, this angle BZX and showing that it's C. Anyway, uh, let's, let's not uh, delete, delete it here. Although I really recommend that you do if you are in the contest. It's going to make the diagram way cleaner. Uh, okay. Right now, let's focus here. What do we know about uh, po point X? We know that this guy here is isosceles. So, if we have an isosceles triangle and we draw an altitude, then we know that uh, this is a perpendicular bisector, it's a median, uh, it's everything. So we know that this thing is equal to this thing. And actually, that means easily we get that this thing here is a kite. So A, Z, X, B is a kite. Uh, okay, so this is really nice since this angle that means it's equal to this angle uh, and of course this angle is C Because this angle is C uh, This angle is this arc AB. So this angle is C and that's it simply we are done So now we've shown that uh, BZX is C and BZY is clearly C So they are equal and hence ZX uh, and Y are collinear. Of course this Z is not the original Z they define in the question This is the Z prime which is the phantom point we define that is the intersection of the altitude from B uh, with the circumcircle. So you should uh, be careful and keep that in mind when you want to write the formal solution. Because if you said <laughs> like uh, the point Z and X and Y are collinear, then of course they are collinear. That's from the, their definition. However, you should state that this is the phantom point Z uh, that we're working with, not the original point Z. All right, so as a summary in this question, uh, it was really an easy question. We did not need it uh, more than angle chasing, simple angle chasing. As I told you, this is the case for most BM01 uh, geometry problems. Uh, you just need to do some angle chasing. You need to be an expert in angle chasing. Uh, okay, um, let's uh, recap the question. First of all, we noticed that, uh, we, of course, we draw a good diagram. And we noticed that, wait a minute, this point C, uh, we know uh, what it is. It should be the intersection of uh, the altitude from B uh, to the circumcircle. We know this point, so one idea was to use a phantom point Z prime here by defining Z, Z prime to be uh, the, what we need to prove basically. And then uh, we did actually the opposite. We tried to show that Z prime X and Y are collinear. So uh, we have many ideas, as we said, as we can show uh, this angle here is equal to this angle and other ideas as well. But uh, the idea we picked is, since we are really comfortable with point Z, let's try uh, to work with C uh, instead of working with X and Y, since we feel kind of X and Y are bad points. So instead of working with two bad points, like uh, angle uh, YXC, uh, let's work with only uh, one bad point by simply finding angle BZX 
and angle BZY. As I told you, this is very important technique. Whenever you have two bad points in one angle, try to reduce them to uh, like one bad point and one bad point. Okay, uh, once we did that, we easily found the angle BZY, and then we easily found the angle BZX by noticing the kites that we have in the diagram. And uh, simply that's it. We are done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll be solving uh, problem 4. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys in the next video.